Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Papercrafts by Hannah. I hope you're all very well today. Today we will be playing with the Sentimental Swirls, which is this one. This was designed by a million sales achiever, Sam Hammond, who is from the UK. So we will be creating some cards with this and having a play. On this stamp set, you've got flowers and you've got birds, you've got leaves, and there's a big swirl that you can use. We have got a happy birthday, a thank you, and a hello, and a for you sentiment. So there's some sentiments as well. This stamp set also coordinates with the flower and leaves punch, which is this one. So you the, cut out the little flower using this one. And I haven't got the punch, but it also coordinates with the Strawberry Builder Punch. So it's designed very well because it coordinates with some of our punches. So today we, I've got four cards ready, but we don't have to make all four cards. So the first card will be used is this using the basic white thick cardstock cut at 10.5 five and they're scored at 14.9 and then using the swell which is this one so it's quite big and it's photopolymer so you can adjust it to how you want it we're going to stamp that. We're going to use mainly the in colours that are the 2020 to 2022, which are Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, Magenta Madness and Cinnamon Cider. So these are the, these are retiring this year. So I thought I would showcase what these colours to you to show you what they are like. So we're going to stamp the swirl in misty moonlight to start with. And then very good, lift it up. Always cover afterwards. I'm just going to use some baby wipes, which are water wipes, just to clean our stamps quick. Because sometimes it's easier to clean it using wipes. But you can also use our stamping, stamping scrub. Stamping scrub is really good as well. And then we're going to stamp a couple of flowers. So I put the small flower. Okay, and we're going to stamp that in cinnamon cider to start with. Hello to everyone that is watching. For some reason I cannot see any comments. What have you been doing this weekend? Please. I hope you all stay safe in the storm. Thank you. 
The next one we're going to stamp is a bird. So we've got this cute little bird. Okay. Good afternoon, Margaret. How are you doing today? And we're going to stamp that in Memento, I think. Which is a black. And we're going to stamp that at the top. So it gives it a little bit more... But what you can do is in this stamp, you get bits that you can stamp inside. So you've got a bit that goes in the bird and you've got a flower inside. So it's a bit like two step stamping. So I'm gonna use the first bit decorate the bird a bit like that this is bumblebee that I've just used it's a bit it's a yellow color and then this one inside we can use a pink which is a magenta madness Just gives it a bit of a bit like that. And then I'm going to stamp a stent sentiment on, which is hello. So we just made a little card just to say hello to anyone you would like. I'm going to stamp that in Misty Moonlight. And there's our first card. It's very simple. Okay. Right. We've got another one. These are using the In Colours cardstock. Okay, so this is Bumblebee, Misty Moonlight and Magenta Madness. I'm going to use a Misty Moonlight cardstock and then I've cut this basic white at 10 times 14.4 and again we're going to stamp the swirl but this time we're going to use cinnamon cider. What have your plans been this weekend?
this time we're going to use some of the bigger flowers which is this sort so they're just slightly bigger And this time we're going to stamp the outside in misty moonlight. As you can see, I've made a slight mistake, but if you turn it over, we can stamp it again on the back. And that comes when you haven't added enough ink onto the stamp. I cut out this time three flowers using the flowers and leaves punch. Okay, so using a stamping dimension, you stick one on the back of each of them. First of all, stick down the card onto the misty moonlight. Because sometimes sticking stuff down with the head he adhesive after you stuck them on is a little bit di more difficult to stick to the card. So that's a bumblebee. Then I've got a magenta madness. And then and then you can use with the iridescent spots you can stick some sparkles on it. So it gives it a little bit of good glitter inside of the flower. So there is two easy designs I have made using this stamp set. And I have got two more to show you. So these are the first two. 
And then I, I have made this weekend this one. Which is again, using the basic white thick, but I've done it in this way instead of lifting it up that way. This is using Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink and Gorgeous Grape. And then I have used this one. This is Balmly Blue using Memento and Pool Party. So I've done four different types you can make. So you can get this stamp set now and you can order anything else from my shop. Thank you very much for watching. I will add all these pictures onto Facebook for you. Please feel free to comment, share. Go to my shop if you would like to order anything. Thank you very much. Bye.